Hi everybody, my name is Vlada Vladik and I'm a founder of a nonprofit organization called Vlada Seeds of Life. The mission of my organization is to bring families and communities back to dining table. And with that in mind, tonight I'm cooking for a group of volunteers who have been supporting our organization throughout the year. For this occasion, I will be making my version of moussaka. The secret to this dish is the freshness of its ingredients. So I'm going to El Centro, California to meet somebody special and to pick up some of the freshest vegetables. Besides cooking, my next favorite thing in life is meeting interesting and kind people. Today I have a special privilege to introduce you to Mr. Nasif and he's one of the kind a laboratory and nursery in the heart of the El Centro Desert. Played as a trial for short day onions and also for uh, evaluation of squash, zucchinis mainly. The short day onions consist of yellow, red and white onions of different types from early maturity to medium maturity. And uh, what I'm trying to do in this trial is show some of the marketing varieties that is sellable varieties that are selling. And also we have some experimental varieties which means that these are varieties that are being tested for disease resistance, tested for, uh, let's say, uh, tolerance to heat, keeping quality, many, many characteristics we are testing for root diseases and stuff like that. So would you say this is like a little laboratory almost? Yeah, it's a, it's a, some, yeah, it's a small laboratory. On the other side here, we have those squash and the squash, which is the zucchinis. The first section here, is growing the parents, the mama and the papa of the hybrid squash. What you eat in the market usually is hybrid squash. And these are the papa and the mamas of the hybrids that we make the hybrids from, that the people eat the fruit. So here we are screening the inbreds, it's called inbreds. So we have male and female inbreds and we grow them to make sure of their purity and cleanliness. And every year we do that the same to make sure that the lines, the parent lines are clean and then on what the does that mean for people who are hearing this for the first time what does it mean clean clean means like for example you want if you want to make a hybrid you need to have the male line all uniform and the female line all uniform so the hybrid when you marry them together to come all uniform you don't want mixes it is very exciting and educational to witness these breakthroughs in growing succulent vegetables in a harsh environment. It sounds just like an apple. Exactly. Oh, you can see, and then you can see the milk coming out, you know, like the juice of it. And then it is, smell, it's really good onion smell. Yeah, you know what I'm smell, saying? It smells really good. It's amazing so. to see what a beautiful vegetable can grow out of this uh, yeah. soil. It's yeah. so dry. And look at the salt on it. Look at the amount of salt. This is a very bad soil here. In today's ever-changing environment and the population growth, it's very encouraging to know that there are people like Mr. Nasser who are dedicating their life in perfecting the seeds and the breeds of vegetables that will produce despite the droughts, despite the soil conditions, and despite diseases. See how strong the root is and the nice color. But the best part is that this is done in an all-natural way by cross-breeding and a natural selection. World knows little about its heroes. Thank you, Mr. Nasif, for everything that you do. And thank you for sending me home with these wonderful vegetables. They're going to be perfect for my recipe. We're starting with uh, pre-cooking turkey and I have a half a cup of olive oil in here. So I'm purposely uh, choosing to share a recipe that uh, that's actually, or dish that's so big. I'm cooking a lot and my goal is to encourage you to, to make a dish like this and maybe call your neighbors over for dinner. So uh, when, once we're done, I believe this dish could feed at least 15 to 16 people. So, um, and you'll see how easy it is to make it and it's delicious, um, everybody loves it, it's kind of light and it's full of vegetables. Okay, so we'll set onions to cook and while onions are cooking, we're going to slice potatoes. There are a few ways to do this, so however you do it, stay safe. And overall, you're going to need about 10 to 12 potatoes thinly sliced and layered. 
and don't forget to involve your kids while doing this. Once potatoes are set, we're going to salt them a little bit and then we'll pre-cut zucchini. Layer it on the top of potatoes and salt it again. By this time, our onions should be golden brown and now it's time to add turkey. Let the turkey cook for a bit. The goal is not to cook it all the way through. Spice it. I'm adding a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a touch of thyme. Also, I'm going to add a teaspoon of Hungarian paprika. You can really be creative with this dish and add some of your own favorite spices. And while turkey's cooking, I'm going to move on uh, to pre-slice the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are a little bit harder to slice, so just do the best you can. So turkey's halfway done, and now we're going to uh, pour it over potatoes and zucchini. This is where our potatoes and zucchinis will get the flavor. All the juices and flavors from meat will soak in underneath. Now with this done, we're going to layer another layer of sweet potatoes and then we're going to put some extra plain potatoes on top. A little bit of salt and pepper and then about another half a cup of olive oil on top of that. Then we'll add some sliced tomatoes, both for the flavor and the look. All right, and we are ready for roasting. So I'm just wiping the excess of juices so they don't burn and make a dish dirty. So next step is to cover this with the foil and let it roast for about 45 minutes. While potatoes are roasting, we're going to the next step. So let's go with 10 eggs, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna whip this really good before adding a cup of Parmesan cheese and two cups of milk. Once well whipped, set it aside, and now we're gonna move uh, on to pre-cutting some fresh parsley. In my opinion, fresh parsley is the key to this recipe, so I'm using lots of it. All right, let's check on potatoes. And we know they are ready once the knife can comfortably go through all the layers. So now that they are baked, we're gonna layer them with the American cheese. And yes, American cheese, trust me, I have tried all kinds of different cheeses on this dish, and for some reason, American cheese works the best. So once you have the cheese layered, just pour the egg and milk mixture and set the dish back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes or until cheese and eggs are done. I'm confident you're gonna love this dish and so will your guests. And if you make it, don't forget to share it. So that's all for today. I hope you liked the recipe and until the next episode, please take good care of yourself and those around you.